Okay. And here's the point again. You're not listening, right? If you're biased, right? Mm hmm. And you go to a wedding or two, right? Right. Well, listen to what the governor actually said about the other feasts he's been to, right? Mm hmm. And why he thought the water slash wine was the best wine he ever had, right? Mm -hmm. Though it was never called wine, right? By those who knew it was water, right? Only the one who thought it was made into wine were Jesus' disciples, right? That's what I mean. That's bias. <laughs> right or wrong, right? Belief or unbelief, what they're saying is a tipsy man who's been drinking wine until it was almost gone drunk water after the wine and thought it wine. <laughs> is that unusual? <laughs> right. Now, the only way to know, <laughs> honestly, is do the same thing again, right? And give him water instead of wine and put it in the purification pot, right? And see if he thought this is water <laughs> or what. No, no. And still don't tell him, right, that it's not wine but water, right? He didn't know that when he drunk whatever he drunk, right? The process of eliminating and uh, what he drunk when he was never told it was water, right? He assumed it was in what? Wine. Wine. Right. Now, the thing is, did anyone even tell him they ran out the wine? Uh, how long after the wedding itself did they even write this? Maybe 20 years? Right. By the way, mm -hmm. they didn't write this up right away. Mm -hmm. The first thing written to the church was the letters of Paul. Right. And that was believed to be around 50 AD or so, right? Uh-huh. Because, again, he had went abroad during the 10 years, which is 40 years, right? right? However long he went to all that, that trouble, right? And he was in prison in Rome when he started writing the church, right? By the way, right? <laughs> there you go. Right, right. <laughs> and again, right... This is just some of what happened to him, right? Now, the same is true with what they told you about Jesus, right? But the only one mm -hmm, who thought the water was wine mm -hmm, was the disciples themselves. The guy drinking the wine thought it wine. <laughs> and the water thought it wine, right? <laughs> he just assumed it was wine, right? But whatever it was, it was the best taste of wine he ever had, right? And I'm trying to give you a hint as to why. Mm -hmm. One, it might have to do with the purification pots of the Jews. Two, mm -hmm. how fresh the water was, right? And where they got that from, right? And it was in Canaan, right? Mm -hmm. Right, right. Usually that would involve the well of Jacob, I think, right? I don't know. Wherever Samaria is. <laughs> Ain't Canaan and Samaria near each other or something? <laughs> Ever heard of Jacob's well? Right. I don't know. Right. Anyway. anyway. <laughs> Another thing is, right, the governor was never told again that what he was drinking was really water. Mm -hmm. That's called deceiving him. Mm -hmm. Now, if you give me something and I'm drinking all night, right, and I say, oh, this is the best stuff I've ever tasted, best wine I've ever tasted, and you didn't tell me it was water, right, I'm making a fool out of myself because <laughs> I'm so drunk I can't tell water from wine, right? Now, the question is, have you ever been that drunk, right, that you drunk up all the other wine <laughs> to where when they served you water, you didn't know what water, you thought it was. <laughs> I thought it was the best wine you ever tasted. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I'm not a drunkard. No, you're not. 
I don't drink a lot, no. <laughs> I don't drink till I pass out, Dion, right? Or pretend to. Uh, anyway, anyway. Right. I certainly wouldn't do it on my wedding night to my new bride. And again, <laughs> I would seal the deal on the wedding night. Not worry about my cousin who just showed up unexpectedly, right? Even if I look like him, no taller, right? Like I said, you're closer to Jim Carrey and I'm closer to Ralph Macchio, let's be honest. But come on. <laughs> You're still my cousin. I'm not there to ruin anything unless you ruin something <laughs> in your own head. <laughs> and this should only be hypothetical, motherfucker. You're a fucked up cousin if this is true. I know it is. <laughs> You're fucked up, by the way. Not me. <laughs> you. I would never do that to my wife on my wedding night just because she thought I looked like you, Dion, because we do look like you, I know. But in comparison, so does Jim Carrey look like us. <laughs> and Ralph, aren't you? <laughs> Though I'm closer to Ralph and you're closer to Jim. <laughs> Am I lying? No. No. <laughs> but I don't know Brooklyn. Right? She's, your, she's my second cousin, though. <laughs> now, third, you can marry, not second. I ain't even worried about all that crap. <laughs> Let's get that out of the way, too. <laughs> you ain't got nothing to worry about there, either. <laughs> Whether you're in Georgia or North Carolina or whatever, right? <laughs> I don't know. The why she took up karate, okay, coincidence. Some girls can get into karate, right? <laughs> and it's usually parents who stereotype their own children, right? Right. Or someone tries to tell them something about the child themselves and they don't know what the hell they're talking about. <laughs> or it's something they don't understand that the young boy was doing, but any young boy might would do it, right? But it had nothing to do with the person who was sleeping with him. Right? In fact, he slept the till morning. He didn't even know when the person came in, right? And wasn't drunk on wine or anything, <laughs> like Lot and his daughters. <laughs> By the way, <laughs> the words. Now, mm -hmm. the problem is, whether you believe me or not, mm -hmm, everyone who read that story is biased. <laughs> even you, even you. <laughs> To not see what the story is really saying. <laughs> the real point of the story is the man was either so intoxicated he couldn't tell the water was on him, right? And you believed him that it was being in the wine, right? When Jesus never said it was one. John the disciples did, right? <laughs> and thought that was his first miracle, right? Well, what if it wasn't? What if the healing of the Name was <laughs> right, right. <laughs> you know what I mean, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but because of the renown, right? <laughs> it may have advanced Jesus to where they believe they could, they could the Messiah. Yeah, yeah. But again, and uh, when you go with the crowd, here's the problem. Right? <laughs> Whether the crowd is right or wrong, right? You're not getting the story itself. What it said, uh -huh. and they had ran out of wine to the point, right? Uh -huh. They had to serve something else, right? Now, by the way, it sounds if you listen to the governor, right? This happens often, right? And they serve the worst wine last. Mm -hmm. Kid. Mm -hmm. But whatever he drank refreshed him. Mm -hmm. Tasted good, right? By the way. <laughs> so that he thought it was, if not wine, better than wine, right? 
Now. <laughs> right. The problem is you're biased, though. Because mm -hmm. you're going with the crowd with this that Jesus actually turned the water into wine. And, uh, well, that's impossible. Mm -hmm. To change water into wine. Mm -hmm. Even if you put it in the period of five pots of the deeds, right? They have nothing to do with one another. Mm -hmm. But the truth is, right, water is better than wine after drinking only wine up until then, right? You might even feel refreshed, right? And like your thirst was actually being quenched by the water. <laughs> <laughs> and you're not thinking about it logically you're demanding it to be a miracle right and you're already biased <laughs> towards the idea right cause the one man who said it was wine didn't know it was water right which means you knew it was water but he didn't that's called Deceiving him right? into thinking what he was drinking was wine when it was really water. Right? Now, the thing is, though, what you gonna do about it? There ain't nothing you really can do about it, right? <laughs> For 2,000 years, everyone's believed that Jesus turned the water into wine, right? Though Jesus himself never said that, haven't you? Right? But everyone else thought that because the man believed he was served wine and not water, mm -hmm. that that makes it wine. No, it don't. No, it don't. It still makes it damn water. Mm -hmm. You're just being a fucking idiot and don't give a shit about the church. And what you're doing there is abusing Christ's ministry. All because you need a miracle. An adulterous generation seeketh after a son. He told you that too. <laughs> because you're seeking for a sign from the Messiah. He's the Messiah, right? You're just supposed to believe the Messiah is the Messiah. You don't need a sign, right? And the thing is... You deceived the man who thought he was drinking wine and never told him it was water. <laughs> now, here's the question. But, mm -hmm. If you were to do the same thing to yourself and drunk to that point, right? do you think you would know the difference between water and wine? <laughs> I bet you wouldn't either. <laughs> I bet you wouldn't either. That's the whole point. <laughs> And let me tell you, if you're drinking a lot of wine, <laughs> the water is better than wine. <laughs> mm -hmm. Because you're so dehydrated from the wine. Right, right. And the water will refresh you <laughs> and taste better than the wine, right? And if you still think it's wine, you think that's the best wine I ever had, man. Damn, I didn't know why it was that good. <laughs> Which is all he said, right? And the author is the one giving you the idea <laughs> that the water was made into wine, right? Not Jesus, not the servants, not even the man who didn't know it was wine, right? But thought it wine, right? That's bias, John. And anyone who's following John's belief that that water was made into wine is wine, is wine. But the problem is, you've been following that a lot for 2,000 years, right? And no one ever once thought, hey, what if the water was just water? <laughs> but water is better than wine after drinking wine all up. <laughs> so there's nothing left of water, right? <laughs> now, what I'm thinking they usually did was make something in with the water where the, even the water tasted bad. <laughs> what Jesus did is put all the water in the purifying pots right, of the Jews. Right? 
or jars, right? However many there were, usually there's at least ten, right? If you read about the temple and the water jars they had around the temple, there are at least ten, right? And he told them, just fill them to the rim with water and keep serving, right? That's all we got. <laughs> And if we serve them anything else, it's not going to taste good, right? I think that's all you can do, I don't know, right? But the only one turning in the wine is using the governor's ignorance that it was the wine, right? The governor never knew it was water, right? He was drinking. So that's John lying about it to the governor and not ever telling the man, hey, did you know that was water at one time, right? Oh, oh. <laughs> See, that's not part of the story, is it? I don't know. Because once you believe something, and here's the danger with believing the wrong thing, right? If you convince yourself the water was turned into wine, it's very difficult for someone to tell you you're wrong, right? Not even Jesus himself. If he was to come back and said, I never changed the water into wine, <laughs> you wouldn't believe him because right, you were told by a disciple mm -hmm. that in his opinion, the man who was the governor of the feast and didn't know it was water he was drinking thought it wine. Right? He was drinking because that's what he's supposed to be drinking. Right? Till the end of the feast. Right? Do you understand what I mean? <laughs> if you don't, you don't want to. If you don't, you don't care. And if you don't care, you're not following Jesus or Satan. And you're a liar like Satan. And you're doing the deeds of the devil like Satan. <laughs> and that's your problem. <laughs> Anything based on the law will crumble and fall. Mm -hmm. But if you leave the water, water, and the guy was so drunk, which makes more sense too, by the way. He didn't know it was water <laughs> or wine, right? Doesn't that make more sense too? <laughs> if you're being honest about what happened, right? the only one who didn't know it was water was the one who thought it wine, who thought drank it as if it was wine, right? And that was the man they brought it to. Right. To serve it to him. Right. Right, right. And he's the only one to take it wine. Right. Because he was never taught it was water. <laughs> now. Mm -hmm. In the whole story was the man ever once told he was drinking water and not wine. Right. No. no. Therefore. If you believe he knew he was drinking wine, you're correct. <laughs> but if you know he's drinking water, you're wrong. Right. The reason you're wrong is he thought it wine. He didn't know the difference. And like I said, wine is 80% water. And the rest of it is grape juice and alcohol. <laughs> what do you think that means if you drink only water afterwards. There's no more alcohol or grape juice left. But if you've been drinking wine, you wouldn't still taste the wine on your tongue. Yes, you would. Yes, you would. <laughs> or you don't know how drinking works, right? Right. You ever drink a drink and still have the taste of that drink in your mouth? Even when you're drinking something else? <laughs> It's a good question! It's a question! Do you understand, dumbass? <laughs> to get you to think about the answer given. And the, the man drinking the wine thought he was supposed to be drinking wine, not water. Right? And no one ever told him it was water he drank. Not even after he drunk it. It was in there. And they didn't even write about it. <laughs> till about 
10, 20 years later, right? <laughs> Maybe 12. I don't know. It's a Jewish thing. <laughs> Uh oh. <laughs> well, 12 would be around 48 to 50 AD. Right. Like I said, right? Mm. You'll see why. You'll see why. If you understand when Herod actually was in Palestine, right? When he actually got there, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? <laughs> now, the problem is. They tried to zero out the Gregorian calendar back to Christ's birth, which would throw off the old calendar. I know. Now, Christ was really born around 7 or 6 BCE, right? In order for the wise men to come to visit Herod and him to die by 4 BCE, right? That like gives him 2 to 3 years, right? Which is the age that the male children in. Bethlehem were killed if they were under that age, right? Because that's when they saw the star appear. It was two years ago, idiot. Read the story. It's all in there. Mm -hmm. All that information is telling you something if you listen. Right. It's telling you facts. Right. Two. Right. But you can't change a fact into a lie by serving water to a drunk man. Right. Who thinks he's drinking wine. <laughs> What part of that don't you understand? Are you just fucking idiot? Right. See, someone always pays the straight man and tries to give it to you straight. If you're playing the idiot, you don't even know how stupid you are. And I'm sick of it. Wherever you are. 